stop. I have the cutest setup right now. I wish I could show you. Here, let me... Like, look at you. You're, like, on a little tripod. <laughs> so cute. Um, I just didn't feel like holding you. Also, side note, don't get used to me looking this pretty right now. Because I want to just not be presentable, no makeup, no pretty on this channel anymore. Because realistically, I never look like this. My last vlog, the one before the New York vlog, that's how I look on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm done trying to give you guys a false idea of what I look like. If you want to see pretty and stuff, go to my Instagram and TikTok. But I'm trying to just be raw, real, and unfiltered Ray Ray on here. And so this is just not... I just... The only reason I look like this really is because I just film TikToks. But other than that, this is like not a thing. Also, if you see me looking out the back, um, my landlord today... <laughs> it's so great. She told me that um, there's black bears that are actually... This is a thing because I've just moved here um, and I only have been living here for six or seven months. Um, apparently, this time of the year, black bears like to come to our neighborhood because we live, like, next to a lake. And they will go through our trash. So, I actually have to go get the trash and not keep it outside because one actually, literally, me and T, we went... Uh, to go to the store yesterday and our bin was knocked over and all our trash was outside of the bin and we thought one of our neighbors had done it to be petty but it was a black bear that was trying to get food so and I keep getting ring alerts if you guys don't have ring like a ring camera <coughs> ooh, if you don't have a ring camera you you won't know but you get like alerts from neighbors with videos and stuff and I've seen some black bears like very close so I'm kind of on edge being out here right now but honestly I just didn't want to be in the house right now so I have some things to talk to you guys about um number one I am still sick with the thing that begins with a C and ends with a number that's one below the number 20. Use your brain. Um, I got sick with that the other week. I've been sick for an, over a week now. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because my mom passed away from complications with this sickness and so this last week has been so terrifying f to me or terrifying for me because just the last few things my mom was texting me or like when my mom was sick with this she was texting me the exact stuff I was going through and I was asking everyone like my boyfriend he was sick with it too he was the one who gave it to me because he got sick first and then I got sick three days later but he it was like so fine for him like he was acting like like he he worked from home but he didn't take a single day off like he just kept going and was fine me the first three to four days I honestly thought that it was over like we are we have taken all of our you know and even a, a booster all that and I still honestly have never been that sick in my life like I, I don't even remember the last time I was sick I never get sick but that just rocked my world and I was getting so nervous because everyone around me, my boyfriend, my aunt, my brother, my, um, just everyone was, I, when I told them that I had it, everyone was like, oh, it's really not that bad. Like, I, like, di barely even knew I was, like, sick. Like, it was not bad at all. And I was getting so, so much anxiety because I was having such a bad reaction to it. And, like, 
I just felt very, very scared because my mom went through basically the same thing as me. Like, she was really, really sick. And I just, every night, I, it sounds so dramatic, but I really was like, am I even going to wake up tomorrow? Like, it was just really scary. So, it's been about a week and a day or two. I still am, like, not going anywhere because I want to get an, a negative test before I go out again. Um, but I am just happy that today's the first true day where I'm like, okay, I can actually move around and do stuff. So, yeah, it's just been a lot, though. I hated it because that entire week, I didn't do anything, and that stresses me out even more. I mean, you could tell in my voice right now, it's really stuffy and just gross sounding, so I'm still stuffed, but luckily, that's really the only symptom or whatever um I got scared though too because even though my boyfriend was fine he couldn't taste for the first day and I not being able to taste and smell is like honestly my biggest fear I feel like it's almost worse than you know because I've just seen so much of people who still can't taste and smell a year later and when their taste does come back everything just tastes like rotting grossness so mm, stressed girl stressed but I'm honestly really happy because I think I brought this up before hold on let me fix my bra I think I brought this up before oh my god my boobs look so good in this lighting I brought this up before but I'm going to Liv's wedding next month in September and on a cruise so I'm kind of happy that I got it now because now I won't have to worry about it on the cruise also I thought it was monkeypox at first because the first day I had it my face was breaking out really bad and the pimples like didn't feel like normal pimples like they I don't know how to explain it like it was just very weird I don't really break out like that either so it was just a lot because the first day I was really really sick I tested negative and even the next day I tested negative so it was just a very scary time and I'm happy that it's over with um also I got my car back I so I bought a Tesla used it only had maybe 8,000 miles on it, so I'm just jumping to the next subject. I bought a Tesla in June and had 8,000 miles on it, and the only reason I bought it used was because, number one, cars right now, if you know, it's like impossible to get any kind of car. I went to like three dealerships to try and get any other kind of car that was like not a piece of junk, and it overpriced number one so but I had always dreamed of getting a Tesla my dream car is a pink Tesla and um so I went to a dealership and they had a used Tesla and it only had like 8,000 miles like I said and it's a 2021 so I we've been loving it we've been driving it I'm in it right now after a month or two literally the battery just died like if you so tesla's obviously you charge them i'm not trying to you know but it wouldn't charge past 50 miles which this one i can get about like 300 or something so it wouldn't charge past 50 so for a week i could only go 50 miles from the house and then you know go back but every day it would slowly like go down from 50 to when the tow truck came I could only charge it to 10 miles so I oh, it was just a big thing because I needed a whole new battery and I mean now it's like working flawlessly thankfully but the dealerships are just so shady because then the we gave the car to Tesla and they were gonna fix everything there was 
weirdness with the tires, like tire pressure. They didn't fix the tires. It's just been a huge thing, so... But my boyfriend went to the dealership and settled it out. I got bumper to bumper warranty. So we were like, bumper to bumper wheels are behind a bumper, mama. So we should get free wheels. Cause, so the battery got sorted out. But then they were trying to be like, oh, we'll give you a discount on wheels. And we were like, girl, no. Like... We have a bumper to bumper warranty, like, we're getting free wheels. So, which I'm still so confused about what bumper to bumper means, because my boyfriend ended up fighting with them, and the manager ended up buying the wheels with his own money. And I'm just like, something, something ain't right here. But... So yeah, it's just been a week. Um, I'm really happy I have Tessie back. Her name's Tessie. And yeah, I'm just trying to think what else I wanted to talk about. Talked about the bears. Talked about my sickness. Also something that's, something that's exciting is I'm going to see a hormone doctor uh, on Monday, it's Saturday right now, because I still have not gone to see a doctor for my hormones since being in Florida. My doctor in Ohio gave me, like, literally six months worth of hormones to last me till I could find a new doctor, so those are, like, running out, Ugh, finally. I don't know if you could see, but someone just moved their boat. They're, they keep their boat, like, almost right in front of our house. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, shout out to everyone who has been messaging me, talking about how they really like these vlogs again. I love that you like them that much to where you, like, message me on other platforms. I'm really bad at responding to messages. I'm so sorry. I know I'm bad at responding. I don't know why. I just get really bad anxiety when it comes to just messaging people I don't know I think it's because so many times I'll like open messages and sometimes they'll be like the meanest thing I've ever seen so I've just developed like anxiety when it comes to dms but if you've sent me a message saying that like just anything really I appreciate you so much I, I just feel so bad that I'm horrible at responding but I think that's gonna be all for this vlog do we like this little car vlog I feel like it's chill I really like just chill videos um I need to take like a thumbnail what should the thumbnail be oh, okay but yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything, anything else. You guys should leave me ideas for what I should do, like where I should go in Florida. That's nearby, like central Florida. Um, because I, have, like, obviously when I'm better, I've been cooped up in the house for so long. I'm just like, I cannot wait till I'm fully, re like, healed so I can go places again. But, yeah. This lighting was a choice. It was sunny when I went out here, and now it's not. Okay. Well, alright guys, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching, as always, and yeah, love you guys, ew, I don't like that, I don't like that, um, what's a more natural exit, I don't know, but yeah, you, you, watching better come next vlog no makeup i don't want any hair done i don't want any cute clothes on it has to be ugly clothes no makeup no hair and if you do come with makeup pretty hair or pretty outfit i'm gonna be mad at you so let's 
follow the rules here. All right, because I'm going to be looking like a mess next vlog, and if you're not, then yeah, I'm, yeah, so I guess I'll catch up with you later, um, yeah, see you later, bye.